Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to English Talk. In today's lesson, I am going to tell the life story of John Cabri. All of my lessons are short, simple and easy to follow. They are written to help you speak and practice your English. Practice speaking aloud the sentences and phrases. Learn and memorize them. Later, try speaking the whole of the narrative without reading any of the text. This lesson is intended to help you practice speaking fluently in English for a short time about something you know or have learnt. You can use it for storytelling to others, to prepare a PowerPoint presentation or as a simple listen and write narrative. There are no graphics or images because I want you to focus on the English language you hear. Alright then, are you ready? So let's get started. This is the story of John Cadbury. He was an Englishman who lived in the 19th century and is regarded as the pioneer of the chocolate bar. He lived between 1802 and 1899 in the city of Birmingham in the English Midlands. He came from a religious family of Quakers who believed alcohol caused poverty and deprivation. He was an early campaigner against social injustice, child exploitation and animal cruelty. In 1824, when he was only 22, he set up a grocer's shop next to his family home in Ball Street, Birmingham. At first he only sold hops and mustard, but his business enterprise soon expanded to include cocoa and chocolate. By 1831, John Cabri's business was prospering and he moved from the grocer's shop to new factory premises. The Cadbury business thrived. Within a few years, John Cadbury had increased his range to 16 drinking chocolates and 11 cocoa drinks. The business was so successful it received the royal warrant of Queen Victoria in 1854. 1866 was a pivotal year for Cadbury's chocolate when they bought the innovative Cocoa Press from the Netherlands and launched Cocoa Essence. John Cadbury himself was ready for retirement by then and continued with civic and social work for many years until his death. In 1879 Cadbury's chocolate relocated to its present much larger site in Bourneville village on the outskirts of Birmingham city. It was at Bourneville where the Cadbury factory found a permanent base and homes were built on adjoining land for the workers. John Cadbury believed in harmony for his workers and said once that no man should be expected to live in a place where a rose cannot grow. In other words, every home should have an attached garden for workers to tend in their free time. The first Cadbury chocolate bar was sold in 1849, but it was not until 1897 that the first milk chocolate bar was launched. This was called Cadbury's Dairy Milk, and it remains a popular choice with chocolate lovers still to this day. The Cadbury brand of the glass and the half measure of milk has become iconic and certainly universally recognised. There are many famous chocolate bars produced by Cadbury's such as Crunchy, Flake, Buttons and not to mention the boxed milk tray. Who, after all, can forget the famous advertising slogan of All Because the Lady Loves Milk Tray? Over time, the Cadbury chocolate business has become a public limited company and a corporate giant, merging with Sweeps and Kraft. 
but the name of Cadbury lives on and the Bourneville village remains an alcohol-free zone as John Cadbury would have wished had he been alive today. The name of Cadbury is undoubtedly a global phenomena beyond the early expectations of the humble man who started it all. That's the end of my short lesson about the life of John Cadbury. I hope you have found it useful and informative. See you again soon for another lesson with English Talk.